What is up guys, it's Amana Turtle. Today we're doing another Pokemon video. We're going deeper into my PSA collection. We're gonna grab a couple boxes of cards and uh, just kind of show them off. Um, this is still in like in the miscellaneous section. So there are some like more organized sections that we've gone through in the past, like the uh, base set PSA 9 uh, and the jungle. Uh, so I think, um, I think, so we have a box right here. <laughs> Pete's coffee boxes that I kind of just pick up from Amazon uh, for, for coffee and I uh, actually use them as PSA because they, it's kind of, it's a little too tall, but other than that, it works quite nicely. All right, so we have a stack of cards right here. We'll do another box as well. And uh, actually to start, we'll go through a burning pack of burning shadows. Hope everyone's having a good day, and if you do enjoy this video, definitely show some love by hitting that like button down below. It does help the, gr the channel grow and find new viewers. And uh, alright, we'll see if that hunt for the Rainbow Rare Charizard does end today. We got a Fairy Energy, Whirlipede, Tormenting Spray, Simsage, Meowth, Magikarp. This is, uh, is this the same artwork if in, um... Team up. Krogunk, Pikachu, Panseer, Alolan Vulpix, very cute. Ooh, guys, we have something. This might be a full art trainer though. Let's see. Boom! Ah, okay, so it is. Ooh, Acerola, that's a pretty good hit. This card is actually uh, used. Um, so basically, it kind of just brings something back to your hand. And the, uh, the card in the Legendary Sky. Um, Basically, it, it's GX attack kind of does that, where it just adds it back to your hand. Um, so it's very, it's a very useful ability. I'm looking for a perfect fit, but we'll just put it in this sleeve for now. Very nice hit there. Um, one of the one of the better supporters for sure from this set. Uh, so oh, I thought it was gonna be that Rainbow Rare Charizard, but so we didn't quite get it. Put this right here, and let's go through some PSA cards. So I can't remember what's in this in this box, but let's check it out. Ooh, okay, it's a Delta Series stuff. Delta Series in, so this is a Mint 9 from EX Dragon Frontiers. Very nice, awesome set. I wish I was collecting this because Delta Series is kind of like the original. I feel like the Alolan stuff is very similar where they're very different types. Uh, so this was a Nine Tails was a Psychic type. Very cool. Yeah, this is a cool set. Or very cool, uh, not mechanic, but the Delta species is just really cool in general. Then we have a Dragonite EX, PSA 9 again. And these cards are super old from 2006. Uh, so like 13, almost probably like getting close to 13 years at this point. And here we have a Mint Dragonite EX. That is a grass type. Very cool. Let's just keep going. Oh, okay. We're, we're, we might be doing some jumping around. Uh, here we have the secret rare from the Shining Legend set, Mewtwo GX. <coughs> when I first saw this card, like I just had to get it. It's so cool. It's very. I feel like this is a very unique secret rare compared to like a lot of other sets where they kind of just have the rainbow, you know, or whatever. Uh, it's a completely different art, and it's like a test tube Mewtwo. So cool. Ironically, I think over time, at first this thing kind of like exploded in price and over time like the full art actually caught back up. So, but very cool card nonetheless. Here we have a Evolutions Charizard. Um, this is obviously just a huge card. Uh, same art from base set, uh, reprinted in Evolutions. Very nice. Mint 9 for that Charizard. And any Charizard is always going to be a hit. Here we have a PSA 10 full art Drampa. I just think Grandpa's funny. Like he's just like the Grandpa Dragon, and he he just looks really old. And uh, yeah, this card's actually really nice. Full art PSA 10, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, spring is here, and so are allergies. Here we have a Gardevoir. Gardevoir definitely one of my favorites, and a PSA 10 Gem Mint 10 from Burning Shadows. Very nice. Here we have a Tyranitar from Neo Discovery. Uh, it's kind of like a miscellaneous card because uh, PSA 8 sets. Um, not that I got to Discovery to begin with, but it's not high on my to-do list. Then we have a Lugia. So this is, I think this might be Lugia's first printing. And it was just really cool because he had three different energies. Uh, however, this card is terrible. So <laughs> he only has nine, this is a PSA 8. Uh, so he only has 90 HP, does 90 damage, but basically you have to discard all those energies from him to do 90 damage. And it's three different colors. 
And uh, here we go. Let's see what we got next. Oh, okay. Back to Delta Species. This is so cool. This is one of my... Um, one I really like. The art of this Blastoise is just amazing. Obviously, he's a turtle, which is great. And he's fighting type. Blastoise fighting type. So cool. It's like fighting metal type. Yeah, Delta Species was amazing. And some of like the, the most sought after cards, like the Gold Star uh, Charizard, that's where this... Um, it's in not in, maybe not necessarily in this set, but in this uh, time period. Here we have a Meganium. Sorry, my nose is running. Uh, another fighting type. Very cool. Yeah, this is just such a cool set. This is PSA 9 mint. It'll probably be a while before I can collect the whole, all the Delta species, but I think we're up to a good good start. This is an interesting Snorlax. One, it's grass type, which is cool, and then he has just two abilities, no attacks. All right, here we have a Japanese card. Uh, I've imagined it's going to be like one of those Pancho Pikachu cards, and ooh, <laughs> nope, I was wrong. Uh, this is actually, I should have known because it's the old back. From pocket monsters um this was just a very cool card uh obviously super old 1998 um this was uh, i think it's called misty's yeah misty's tears and so it's like one of the banned cards like when it got uh printed into english they didn't use his art because like misty's kind of naked right there uh, it's just a very uh kind of like an iconic card <laughs> for vintage pokemon all right back to english we have ooh another oh no this is is ex delta species however this is espion is not not necessarily different it is psychic but it's metal psychic but very cool card mint nine again the sleeve is kind of adding a little bit glare to that sorry about that here we have another one ex delta species mint nine again we're I, i'm not sure how many we're, we're missing for the ex delta species or the dragon frontier but uh some of the some of the sought, most sought after ones would be super expensive talking about that rainbow or, or gold star charizard so here we have a, a lightning Latias. It's lightning and metal. You can kind of tell when they're part metal as well from the the kind of like the way the card is. Here we have a water Umbreon. Very cool. This one's only a near mint seven, but and it has this thing, so it might be a. I can't remember if that means it's kind of like the reverse or the pre-release, but it's another metal dark. It's kind of confusing. He's water, but then his attack is dark and metal. And then we have another Delta species in Pinsir. Oh wait, but this one is just fighting. So I guess that's not really... I feel like Pinsir has always been kind of like grass and fighting. And back to Evolutions. Charizard, a mint, near mint 8. Always good to have any kind of Charizard in your PSA collection. And jumping around a bit, we have a Full Art Glaceon. This is from... Full art Glaceon. So this is from Ultra Prism, so it's not the promo card. Gem Mint 10, very nice. Evolution's always another, yeah, another very solid pickup. You know, ooh, Gardevoir for the secret rare. Gardevoir, one of my favorites. But Evolution's, Charizard, Mewtwo's are always pretty safe. And here we have a first edition Typhlosion from Neo Genesis. PSA 9, very nice pickup right there. And then for our first, last card in the first box, we have a Shadowless Clefairy. Uh, working on a uh, higher grade uh, Shadowless set. I think my current one, they're all over the place, like fours and sixes and stuff like that. Uh, so that's the first box. Let's get into the next one. Be right back. All right, let's go. We got another box of PSA cards. Let's see what we have inside. We have... Ooh, this is very cool. From 2006 Black Star promo, Journey Across America. I'm not sure what Journey Across America is referring to, um, but I'm guessing it's like a 10 year anniversary kind of thing. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, but it is Gem Mint and it is a Black Star promo Pikachu, so that's very nice. Then we have, ooh, very, very cool. PSA 10, Gem Mint 10, Dark Charizard. This is a non hollow. However, a PSA 10 Gem Mint. First edition Charizard, always nice. Then we have a pre Marina GX. I, I like this card just because um when I kind of got back into Pokemon, one of the first things like that was, I opened was a a starter deck that happened to have pre Marina, so I always liked um we'll refer to the Pokemon as a her. But very cool card right there. And PSA tens are always good. 
Here we have an EX Power Keeper, so kind of a older set from 2007. And it's a Flygon Hollow PSA 9. Flygon, it's always a pretty cool dragon that's just okay. Raikou, the legendary. Someone told me these are cats. I always thought of them as dogs. This is a PSA 8. And this is from this is Expo Sky Ridge. Kind of has that e-reader thing on the side. And we're a little jumping all over the place. A PSA 9 Wigglytuff. As far as uh, collecting or gener creating the uh, PSA 9 Unlimited Jungle Set, this just I think this is just an extra, like a dupe. So I had multiple of that. So it kind of went into the miscellaneous box. And what's starting to hit some Japanese cards. I, I think this one is the Poncho stuff. Oh, no, wrong again. <laughs> so here we have 2002 Japanese promo Charmeleon from the Trainer's Magazine. That's a pretty cool art. And then, uh, so two, 2016, Sapporo's Pikachu. Some this from the Pokemon Center from Sapporo. Very cool art. We got a Poplio, Lola and Volpix, and a Pikachu. We got some guys in the background as well. Very cute. More Japanese. Ah, this is a McDonald's promo. Gem Mint Tan Chikorita. This this art just looks. If it was like a cave painting for uh, like a Chikorita, I imagine it would look something like that. And here we go. Here's the ponchos. Uh, so this is the Charizard one. So this is the non-full art. Uh, so I feel like the full art one is the one that gets attention, but the there's always two. And just the regular one, I feel like, is kind of underestimated for these cards. So here's a Gen Mint 10 one. Not too hard to grade because it's not even hollow. And I, there might be a couple of these. So here we have another one, Gen Mint 10 again. Probably like the, the price will never go up quite at the same pace as like the full art ones. Uh, but I do think these are definitely, obviously they're part of the set and they're, yeah, I think they're just underestimated right now. And we have a couple copies of the different ones. So here we have a, is that a Lucario? Lucario, not sure who that is, but that's obviously a Slowpoke. Ah, another Misty's tier. This one's PSA 9. I imagine the PSA 10 one is a little pricey just because this is a very um, famous card <laughs> for probably some obvious reasons. And back to the, the Charizard Panko, Pancho Pikachu. We have another Gem Mint 10. Another Gem Mint 10 of the uh, Pikachu Mega Campaign. And our last card is English. We have ooh, just the regular... Uh, Mewtwo GX from Shiny Legends. This is a Gem Mint 10. This card is actually really good. Too, just for like one energy, you can start laying down some massive damage. So, very um, pretty cool uh, PSA cards. And from our Burning Shadows, we did pick up an Ace Roll of Full Art. Very nice pickup right there. Uh, again, if you guys did enjoy this, this video and um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Hit that like button if you did enjoy so I know to continue to do these. I would say we have uh, quite a uh, good, still quite a bit of our collection to go through. This is only part two. And we are getting ready to begin our own submissions to PSA. Uh, just a little pricey, so trying to um, hold off a little bit. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Uh, on that, guys, I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.